Okay, hi guys, my name is Jemmy, and today I'm going to be showing you a jigsaw puzzle. So basically, um, this is what I got so far, and this is our um, done stuff. So you put your stuff in here, like this, and like this, wait, and then like this, 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 and this. Then you go to the next level. This one's another really hard level, so... Eh. Um, where? Where's this one go? There. This one goes where? Here. This one goes here. This one goes there. This one goes there. Um, where does this one go? There. There. And finally, a big piece. There. Now moving on to the Minecraft block, I'll just move that up there, down there, down there, down there, there you go, there you are, and then and there you are, there you are, and a bling, and it goes like this guys, forever, until you end it or something, so yeah, that's how we do it. So now let's start guys. Um, I might need to look at the code a bunch of times because it's actually really hard to me. Like these codes so far, it's really hard. So yeah, so let's do it. So first, let's open the new construct two page. Um, um, let's just wait. Okay, there we go. And then select the file, new, new empty project, and uh, we don't. I don't think we have to change anything that much. Yeah, I don't think we have to change anything. We just leave it as it can will be. Ow, ow, ow. There's something itchy. Okay, who cares about it? Okay, so now we're done with that. Let's just insert the background. So, layer, let's rename this layer to BG. Rename BG. Um, and click, um, okay. Now let's add another one. This one named this game. So we name G A M E game. There you go. And let's just do B G first. Um, uh, let's insert a new object. This one will be a sprite. This it can be any color you your choice. I'm just gonna go with this kind of color. Not sure what it is, but yeah. You have that one. Okay, and pour it in. Then let's get out, and then let's do here, snap to grid, show grid, let's set the grid to 16, 16, okay, and then let's put it up, no, that's 1632, 16, put enter, there we go, and let's just cover it up with our background, We. We. there you go, wait, too much. Okay, like this. And let's lock it. Now let's go in game. Insert a new object, sprite. And let's rename this. Hmm, what should we name it? We got the background. Now we let's rename this into IMG for image. So let's insert that. Put it there. Here we are. And then choose any image you like. I'll start off with this one. Simple. And then the size to 250, okay. Now let's just set the origin point to zero, 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 and click OK. Now that we got our first image, let's rename this thing actually. Um, rename into BG. And yeah, here we are. Now that to make our image prettier, this is optional. Let's enter new objects, right? And let's rename this border like this. And Let's just X this out first. Uh, I'm gonna put a line, okay? So I'm gonna fill everything within black first. And then I'm gonna make a line. It's gonna be white. So, like this. And let's just do this. 13. 13. Check where that is. Wait. It's up there. So let me get my line. Wait. And you remember where it is. There. Okay. Hmm, I think I can remember it. There. 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Now let's draw a straight line down here, guys. So, let's check. Okay, pretty good. It doesn't need to be exact, guys. Just um, make it good enough so that um, it looks like the image point itself is at 13, right? Eh, because it needs actually precise calculation. And I'm not <laughs> really succeeding my border right now. Oh no. What's wrong? Okay, let's do something like that. Nope. Um, nope. And finally, yes, let's go. Okay, so let's just put it there we go. The first reason why I recommend doing it in black is because um it makes it easier to see our line instead of just making it like um pale and stuff so it's actually pretty hard no 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 yes let's go okay ah no oh phew oh no Okay, few. Okay, let's put it up here. There we go. And right here, I see there is a little mistake. So I'll cover it up. Like there we go. And there we go. Boop. And let's cover this up. Eh, eh. Okay. Oh no. Good. There we go. We got our border, guys. Except now that we got it, it's a little too thick. So let's put black in and let's just trim it up a little bit. Ah. Uh, okay. So let's trim it. Wait. Control Z. Trim it. Um, like so, trim it, and then trim it again, right here. Ah, tr yes, there you go, trim it again. Oh, no. Okay, trim it. Okay, there we go, we trim one side. This side, it's too thick. If it's too thick, our picture won't that show that much, so... That's why I'm trimming it a little bit. Eh. Like so, and control Z. Control Z. This is actually pretty hard. Okay, wait. Okay, there you go. Somewhere like right there. Now let's hold it up. Yeah, there you go. Wait, control Z, that was pretty good, but it's not that is, it's not that good. Because our line needs to be straight and this one's not that straight. Uh there we go. Okay. There we go. And now let's just pour um the um blinding in. And now we got our border. So officially when it fits, it fits perfectly. See guys? See what I mean? Although there is a little edgy stuff, but I mean this is pretty good. Although I'm a little disappointed over here. Let's pour some paint in back. Um I need to refill something. So here. Yes, I, I don't really like that edgy line, so I'm just gonna trim it. Ah, oh, no, that's way too much. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. There you go, there you go. Okay, done. Okay. Control Z. No, no, control Z, control Z. Wait, wait, no, don't tell me I control Z is that too, no. I need to do it all over again. Okay, there we go. Luckily, I did it good. 
hopefully. Eh. And then up. Ow. And like this. And let's just move the, this part in. Sure. And then this part in. And come over here. Oh no. What's that? Eh. 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 Okay, like that. And yeah, I'm pretty good. Except this part, right? Dido, dido, dido. That little part. <laughs> you might be like wondering, like, Jemmy, seriously, this is such a small part. I care about small stuff, especially small disappointment. So let's just grab some white here and some paint. Holy cow, that's big. One pixel. One pixel. See? Wait, this is not white? Holy no way. This is not white. Holy no. This is not white. Wait. Oh, then I need to refill my block. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Okay guys, wait, I can't stop it. Okay guys, it's fine. I finally done it and it works. I get three pixels each. And yeah, it's pretty good. And now let's just pour the invisible paint in and let's just check it out. Pour. There we go. There we go. It's way nicer now. It looks like a real border. And the point is to shrink it down enough to the size. So let's check my other program and let's see what size this is. This is 280, 280. Let's just take that information um, and put it in here. 280, 280. Okay. Now let's just take another piece of information, which is how big this thing is, which is 256 and 256. So let's take that, put it in here. 256, 256. And so this should be able to fit. Oh no, it's really, it does fit, except it's really loose. <laughs> oh, oh right, this border, it's not, it's not off. Yikes, yikes. -y. Well, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> Let's just lower this down to 270. Check out the circumstances. Oh no, 272. Wait. Okay. Eh. Eh. I can't do it. Okay. Wait for another round. <laughs> okay, guys. It just filled with size and stuff. And it turns out you can actually click Alt. And it will do the same job. Like, literally. So, you can just or go ahead, click Alt, Shift, and just drag it around. And it will still have the same result. Okay, guys. So, yeah. I pretty much got it like this um and let's just put this up first so like this and I can't really like drag it wait I just did yeah because I fill around the size um you can just go ahead click alt just drag it like how you want click alt and shift remember click alt and shift and my size is right there so yeah um the size of mine was 0.55 Oh, 0.55.55. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. So yeah, now let's try. So all we got so far is this. But what would you? What should be your second thing to do? We have to insert new object. This one you might guys not might not have. If you don't, just go ahead and skip this video. Um, cause it's called canvas. But if you do have canvas, you double click it, put it in here. And yeah, now what you have to do is you click out, and here's your canvas. And then it crops pictures for you like this, like so. Or you can just watch it for your um, what's it called? Lear learning skill for your brain. And now let's just set the size to 90, comma 90, no 96, right? 
96 comma 96. Yeah, and now this is our square, so it's gonna be like here, here, and then here. Here, 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 here. Yeah, it's gonna crop like that, guys. But since it couldn't crop it yet, wait, it stops right there, okay? Like there, and then this one is farther. So yeah, just like that, guys. Um, but let me try to make it smaller so it can crop everything. Um, this, this, oh wait, oh, wait, back there, eh, here, here, um, and here. But be careful that when it crops you, um, it might not fit the whole thing. So here, such so one there, here, and here. Okay, smaller. 86 comma 86. I want everything to be an equal piece. One, two, wait, one, two, and three. Yeah, there we go. It's small enough for me. How about 85 comma 85? Let's try. No, can't. 84. Comma eighty four. No. Eighty three comma eighty three. And here. yes, I think it's eighty three eighty three. So like this, like this, like like this, like this, like and then on the nose, like this. Okay, except oh no, it's actually kind of hard. Okay. 84 comma 80 84 let's try that okay one two one one and then there not big enough not big enough 90 something like 90 90 except if it's 90 90 it's gonna be really big okay like there there, it, there, there, and then there. Okay, there we go. It's just a little off. Wait, let me let me do something like that. Okay, so it's wait eighty and ninety. Okay, guys. So here, here, here. Wait, can three of these fit in a stack? Wait, can I control it? Oh, I can. Okay. Let me put exactly under there. And let me put control and exactly under there. Oh, it's still bigger. These three canvases are still bigger than this picture. It needs to be shrinked down. Like there. And then... Oh. Squish. Okay. Okay. Um, eighty seventy. More like eighty seventy five. Let's try that. Yes, good. Wait, right? this is eighty seven. We need three of those. Okay, like this, and then control alt. Um, control alt control alt right it couldn't get okay right, never mind <laughs> let's just delete that delete that and I guess you have to rough it out like this okay so yeah now we have our canvas and we can do three perfect thing except when we're down we have to um get out a little bit wait or maybe you don't like this one two three one two and two and three so we just we do that okay right one one two and two three 
four. Okay, we need four, three, four. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now we have our canvas. Uh, wait. Um. So after we're done with this, I'm actually gonna set it back to my normal size because it requires really precise calculation, as I said earlier, and it's really hard. So 96, 96. Even though it doesn't get exactly the same picture, I guess it would still be better. Okay, there we go. Like one, two, three. Okay, who okay. cares? It's fine. So now that we got that, um, we have our BG, our canvas, and our image, and our border. Um, let's just, oh my god. Let's just event sheet. Let's just drag this off the thing first. And so let's go to our event sheet, add event. System on start of our layout. Which is right here. Right? Oh yeah, wait, I have to do something. So here and now let's just check the effects to um gray gray scale. Yeah, gray scale guys. And so let's get out. Now it's totally like black and white. So yeah. And then when canvas, it's gonna make it like our the normal color. So then we can just paste it in paste it. Yeah. Okay, so now let's add event system. On start of layout, where is it? On start of layout. On start of layout, here it is. Add action, canvas, destroy. Okay, this is pretty cool, but yeah. First thing we do is destroy canvas. <laughs> okay, so where is it? Canvas, destroy, here. And then after this, we have to set... Let me check a good position for my um this guy to be so um have it there position 48 one, one, two. okay add action image um set position set position um four eight four eight one one two one one two and click done and then control do the same thing. Right? Add action. Uh, border do the same thing, which is set position. Set position to four eight one one two. Click done. And now let's check it out. Wait, let's no 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 no. Okay, let's grab this out first. And now let's check it out. Hope it works. Like it goes to own together. Yes, okay, pretty good. Right there. Okay. Let's X out. And now what's our other stuff? Let me go check in here. So our other things are um basically canvas um set position that set animation no, that is because we were done. We have three animations in our thing, but we don't want that yet. So system. This is called a new thing called looping guys, so wait looping loop for that zero from eight loop canvas on display and yeah this is pretty good pretty um harsh so let's go back here and then let's just add a sub event um sub event which system for eight no zero to eight um done like it chops the canvas chops zero to eight stuff so let's just um go looking again and then what was it zero to eight create object canvas on layer display at image x plus 96 image x plus 96 and then that that loop index holy cow that's hard okay so basically let's just um, look in here. So create object canvas on layer display. We can manage that. Let's go step by step, guys. Okay. System. System. Create object. Click to choose. Um. Canvas on layer. This my layer is game. Wait. Game. Oh, remember to add the quotation marks. 
And now let's just check again where it was. Layer game. Layer game on layer display at image dot x plus ninety six times loop index percent three. Image dot x plus ninety six. Okay. Let's just do image dot x plus ninety six. Okay. Image dot x plus ninety six. Okay, image. No, no, image. Dot x plus plus ninety six. Okay, there we go. And let's just check this one. Is it? Okay, good. Times canvas i dot id. What's canvas dot id? All oh, right. Okay. Not here though, it's up here. So image dot x plus ninety six times loop index percent three. Okay, times loop index percent three. Times loop index percent three. Okay, times loop index percent three. Times times loop index index percent pers no not that index percent um where is it percent three and then this there we go wait there we go to finish our stuff off okay now let's check our code again it's pretty hard Okay, now that we're done with that, guys, ooh, we have to open the another thing, the for loop index, okay? Let me check it out. The for loop index, you need this. There you go. And now y, moving on to y. Okay, image y plus 96, which is the same thing here, except without this thing. Int loop index, and then instead of percent three, it's times three and int so you need int to image dot y plus 96 times int loop index okay pretty easy okay let's grab here let's control c this control v instead of y here we do no instead of x there we do y and before here we delete that and times int in front okay instead of times we do divide i think that's correct wait there's a moth here. I can't catch it. Okay. So let's just. Oh my gosh. Stop annoying me, man. Okay. So basically, um, here. And then we do set position to that. Um, here. And we are. Oh, we need one more. Okay. So we go back to code. We need one more. Um, parenthesis. Was it parentheses? I think so. Okay, and oh, shoo shoo. <laughs> okay, so after we're done with that, guys, let's click done. Synatic per index. All oh, right, because we have a space. Okay, let's just do that. I, I can't you wait? Let me check my code again. Um, we do. Oh, we don't have the thing in front and then we don't have the thing behind here oh okay let's go okay so we don't have the thing in front and we don't have a thing behind there okay now click done what's wrong loop index oh i typed it two times <laughs> lol okay loop index there we go click done Okay, I also typed that two times. Why? Okay, loop index. Wait, wait a second. Okay, done. Click done. Yes, there we go. Now it should divide all of us. So, all of the thing. Right? No, it did it. Um, okay, now let's just go and do our code really fast. Let me finish this and let's see what it is. Okay. So now paste layer display into canvas. So paste layer display into canvas. 
how, how do you do that? So go back, paste layer, next, display. All right, because it doesn't know what layer. Okay, so let's go back in our bench sheet in here, and then add another condition. Back canvas, um, paste, or is it paste layer? This one is called layer game. Okay, and click done. Now our second job is wait, paste layer into canvas. Why doesn't this one have? No, we do. Okay, that's good. Set position to 400 plus random 400, 200 plus random 100. What? <laughs> okay. This 400 plus random 400. Let's just do that first, guys. Let me check the code again. Okay, we don't have the upper thing. It's just 400 plus random and parentheses 400. Okay, that's simple enough. Wait, let's just cancel this first. Okay, so add action. Canvas set position position to four hundred um four hundred plus four hundred no plus random yes and then this four hundred this there we go we're done with that now let's check our other one and then for y is two hundred plus random 100 okay 200 plus random 100 wait did stay with us holy cow it did okay okay um all oh, right because this is our page it's, okay y equals 200 plus random 100 okay and let me click down with that but i forgot to do something let's click our um canvas plus uh, what's it called? Drag and drop. There you go. And now let's just try playing. I hope it works because so, we can drag it around now. Please. Yes. Okay. Now we can drag it around, guys. But we still can't um, click it in yet. Um, we can kind of click it in. I mean, like, if you try. Like, stuff like that. But it's hard. So let's just do coding. Like. Okay. Oi. It's pretty hard, but... You get a good result so now like that and now id to loop index what does that mean since variable all oh, right because we're gonna add an instance variable Oosh. to our canvas where is it this page yeah canvas behaviors plus no no not behaviors instance variable plus this one called ID, which is going to tell apart which, like, you see those pe jigsaw pieces, right, guys? It's going, each one is going to have an ID, so it's just initial value equals zero, click done, and go back to your event sheet, wait, what's it called? Set ID to loop index, so what is it? Set value, okay. Let's go here, add action, um, set index. Oh. Set index. Um, canvas. No. Yeah. Here. Set value ID to hmm. loop index. Loop index. There we go. And click done. Okay. There we go. So now let's just debug it. Wait. I don't think we can. I think we can. I hope we can. <laughs> okay. So let's debug it, guys. And now let's look at our owl canvas. Oh, here it is. It chopped it up for us and it gave ID along with it. So, um, this one, num number zero. Who's number zero ID? This guy, which is belong over here. And it's going to cut, 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 cut. I'm guessing this guy is number two ID, number one ID. Correct. So this is number one ID. And it's going to go like this um, until it's done. So, yeah. So these are our, our IDs. And yeah, okay, now let's go back into our code, come in here, and then this one is on drag drop, um, system, absolute canvas.id, divided by 3 minus canvas, y is less or greater than 30, equal or greater.
Why is less or equal to grade 30? Okay, this is pretty hard. Okay, but let's just try anyway. Okay, so first is on drag drop. Let's go back here. Wait, is it um trail two? No, it's just a completely new event. So add event. Wait, ow. On drag drop system. Wait, no, back. Canvas on drag drop. Um, add action. Wait, no, add sub event. Add sub event about what? Hmm. That's interesting. Add on drag drop. Add sub event about DG. No. On drag drop. Um. Where is it? Let's just check again. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to open Premiere Pro. Oh no. Okay, I I need to close Premiere Pro. I'm sorry, guys. Really, I'll do a class on Premiere Pro and editing, but. <sighs> I will do it later because oh no premiere pro please go away I am in middle of construct tool okay so now that we got that let's just um where is it uh let's go check again I forgot to check it probably okay now let's add sub event system absolute canvas dot id um divided by three and then canvas y less or equal to 30 okay so let's just come in here um go in here and basically what we're going to do now is um we are going to let's see okay we are going to basically try to come here so system compare variable no 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 I back 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 compare two values yes first value absolute Okay, absolute what? Absolute. Wait, let me double click it into there. Absolute canvas canvas dot IDs um divided by three. Okay. Absolute canvas wait canvas dot ID divided by three. Okay, good. And now let's just, oh, no, 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 no more Premiere Pro. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just take here. No. Oh, where is it? No, not here either. Oh, pff, I forgot. Okay, here. Okay, add one to number correct. So it's like this. Divided by three minus canvas dot y. So minus canvas dot y. Okay, so here. Minus, let's underscore minus canvas dot y there we go guys um let's click there and now our second value equals to 30 i remember 30 and less or equal so there we go okay okay we're done with that phew and now let's just take on the second thing which looks pretty absurd to me okay absolute oh it's the same thing yeah, it is. Except for this X and the image. Blah, blah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, but this thing is the same, I remember. Um, 30 is the same. Absolute is the same. Although, was there an image plus 96 times? Yes, there was. Oh, the only thing different is... Wait. Yes. This. The only thing different is the dividing. Wait, why is there two stuff here? Was there only one in yeah, wait cancel? No, this one was canvas I dot id, so it is pretty different. So canvas dot id is in the middle, so there is wait there is a b c a b s this image dot x plus ninety six times canvas dot id two parentheses minus canvas dot x. Most confusing thing I ever heard in my life. Okay, so let's just take it one by one. A B S image parenthesis A B S parentheses image dot x plus ninety six times okay okay <laughs> this is actually pretty hard okay absolute let's just okay let's add no no not here 
let's delete that. Let's add here, add another condition. This one would be system. No, not system. Canvas pair instance. No, no. Not here. Compare two values, which is the system. Okay, first value. A, B, S, absolute, parentheses, image, image, dot, X, enter, plus, 96, times, oh, yeah, that, we're actually correct, okay, times what, times, canvas, dot, dot ID, um, and then percent three, parentheses, parentheses. Okay, canvas, just times canvas.id into parentheses minus canvas.x. Okay, canvas.id, um, canvas.id, so, uh, canvas, canvas.id, and then, like this, canvas.id minus, um, canvas, dot x no x or y i think it's x no no y yes it's definitely y because last time it was x never mind last time it was y <laughs> this time it's x okay and then this one is 30 less or equal to 30 less or equal i click done and now our second thing again cancel and canvas is match. Okay, so I heard match is another instance variable. Yes, and match is boolean. So, okay. Oh, we're almost done. Holy cow, that was fast. That was fast like a rocket booster. Okay, so wait, are we almost done though? Yeah, we are actually. So let's just um, do in here um instance variable plus match like matching our um, thing with the picture so number equals to boolean and just said false for now and now let's just add another condition um canvas compare instance variable oh wait what back compare boolean instance variable okay match click done um edit invert which means is not true okay so now let's just check it out again we inverted it, everything now set position of image oh no yikes okay set position to set position what's it what's the set position for for canvas okay set position to image dot x plus 96 times canvas dot id percent three so um wait let me check i hope there's no parentheses in front okay there's no so image dot x plus 96 times canvas dot id to percent three okay let's try add action canvas set position set position to hmm, image dot x and then what else image.x plus 96 plus 96 times plus 96 times image no dot id no it's called canvas dot id yeah canvas dot id okay and then this okay we're good now why okay our y is image dot y plus ninety six times int canvas dot id instead of um, percent three it's divided by three okay why are we mulling around in three <laughs> I have no idea but I'll just take it so we can just copy this thing guys so control c control v um, here and instead of times we wait wait we do time <laughs> and then instead of that we do hmm let's see times and what times and write int int and then so image dot y this one's y now plus 96 times int k 
canvas.id. And I remember there's something after here, right? Yes, divided by 3, not times 3. Oh, we didn't even put percent 3 here. Okay. Percent 3. Wait. Percent. Per, wait, where is it? Oh, uh, hello, percent. Where are you? Percent. There you are, percent. Okay, percent 3. This. There we go. And then instead of percent, it's times 3. So times 3. And click enter. So now we got that. Let's add another action. And this said boolean match equals to true. Okay. And then let's check what to do next. Add one to numcorrect. So if I'm not mistaken, numcorrect is okay, numcorrect is a global variable along with level. So let's just put those two down here. Add global variable. So first is level. Um click OK. And then second is num correct and i bet num correct and num correct is basically for um if how much we match it like nine then we go into our next level um it's really simple we're just going to add frames to our image so now that we got that let's just add action system set add to um, one num correct by one. Okay, now let's just debug it and let's check it out. Okay, here we go. So here we are, and we can put this in. It's like here, but it doesn't really snap though, not yet. At least. Eh. Okay, now what we do is like if we put it like here, right? Is the num correct gonna go up? I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, um, where is it? Layout. Num correct. Where is it? Num 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 correct. No, there's no num correct. Okay, no. never. Wait, there was right on. Nah. System. Yes, here we are. Where is it? Num correct equals to zero because we didn't snap it in yet. So let's just check our code. Our second code is matches true. Set position to image. I think we did something wrong in here, did we? I don't think so though. Did we? Um. On drag, drop, start, drop, drag, drop. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this and just check if we're good. We cancel. Come in here. Here, go in here, control. It's pretty much the same, right? Like, here. Okay, and click done. And now I'm going to get my Y. Okay, guys, you can just look at this code first and try to type it out. I'm pretty confused myself, so I don't blame you guys. Okay, three, two, one, done. Okay, so now let's just go in here. Control P, click done. I'm not sure if it's going to change anything or not, but I have a feeling it should be clicking, and I'm, mine is just not. Yes, see? See? What? What the? What the? I don't think it's connected, so let me just continue the code. Okay, so our second code would be, we're good with all this, right? Image x dot x plus i'm not sure so let me control dot and control here eh. control v done oh we did change something i wasn't sure what that was though just control oh I control z okay and let's just take control a control c dot wait cancel okay c and let's go back in here then let's do here control v click done okay let's try i hope it snaps or maybe it's just me or yes here we are it snaps now oh my gosh guys so you know when we um i told you guys to look um please comment below if there is anything wrong okay if you see anything wrong just tell me 
this thing it won't fit. Let me try this. Hey, hey, bro, fit in there, man. I can still take stuff out too. So, and when I take stuff out, it doesn't do it. Okay, let's try it again. Fit. Okay, good. And then let's fit the top thing. Okay, these two are good. No worries. No worries. And do something like that. Something like that. Like that. 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 And there we go. Okay, guys, we are pretty good. Except now we can take our stuff out. <laughs> Whoever comments below will get a shout out from me. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, let's go to event sheet. I don't really remember what was wrong though. I remember it was somewhere in here. It was somewhere in here that was wrong. I remember. Whoa, no, 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 control. Oh no, done. Oh no, 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 control that, 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 that. Okay, wait, this is canceled. Oh, phew. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's go in here. Now on drag, on drag drop start. Drop, drag, drop, holy cow. So, canvas on drag, drop, start, which is when we pick up and we drop it down and is a match, then um, we just stop, drop, drag, drop. I'm not sure though, but let's just try it out. So, on drag, drop, start, which is here, another, wait, wait, is this another one? Yes, okay, it is. Okay, add another one, canvas, on drag, drop, start, um, uh, back here, it says is a match, so, add another condition, canvas, is set bullet, match, is match, add action, drag, drop, what is it? System, no. Canvas, yeah. Drag, drop, drop. There we go. And our final last one. Oh, right. We still have some of this to do, right? Yes, we still have this one to do. And set ID to we did that. We did all this. And except this part, which we will have to do. Num correct equals to that. Okay, good. So now, guys, um, just rummage through your files. And let's just... Come up with three square pictures, okay, guys? Just run much through your files. Doesn't need to be good, doesn't need to be bad. Just three um, square pictures. I'm gonna run much through mine too. Okay, I found one. Blocks are good, like these. Like a Minecraft block is good. Anything like that's a blocky stuff is good. Wait, cancel. Change from file. And hmm, I'll take that Minecraft block and. No, it's too safe. I'm gonna. Delete my Minecraft block. Add another frame. Let me see. Let me see. let me check it out. Okay. Hmm, where is it? Those are my blocks. Oh hi Jelly. Um, hi PewDiePie. Hi Messi. <laughs> okay. Um, here. No, not in here. I can't use anything. Just rummage through your files until you find one. I tried to use that one for my last round, but it didn't work out great um okay that's it only choice left i am going with no jelly's a little squared so okay fine i'm gonna go with my minecraft block it might look similar but i guess it's still different where is it okay here it is wait is this diamond squared oh i think it's squared okay wait nah wait it might be okay wait let's just Set size, apply your whole animation. Oh, the diamond is. Oh my gosh, I hate. I'm gonna get you. I can't find it. Gosh, okay. Now let's just um grab our pointers and put it up here, and then let's just say apply to all animation. And now this one's on top, and this one's also on top, so that's great. Okay, now that we have that, it's just event sheet, and now let's just go in here. So num correct is less or I'm so done with you guy. Come on, fly, come at me, or either mosquito, or I don't know. <laughs> oh, I... Oh, I... 
Okay, so um let's just add event canvas is boolean instance variable set now compare instance variable id equals or greater greater or equal to nine done add ow ow i stepped on my thing which is okay ow okay so now that's done let's just id dot that add action canvas no add action let me check again i think it's restart layout i knew it restart layout add one to level i said i'm correct okay restart layout restart layout restart layout restart layout okay good restart layout system add to level by one and then from here set num correct to zero okay system set num correct to zero okay wait wait, wait. <laughs> not there here num correct num correct to zero done okay there we go and now stuck in here now set animation frame to level three okay so this is gonna random it so set image set frame um wait ow i mean i think it's this i am not sure but this practically this it's this three done we can't do that wham, wham. okay it's just oh level okay cancel you can do more than three if you like unless you can find more square images okay level three there we go and let's put it right there wait actually you know what i'm actually gonna do four and then like this you can just do that you can just change the number of that and you can import like a frame like this at frame um set origin point to is right zero zero first okay click out and then this thing now let's just grab our this thing in okay now i have four frames so now let's test it out i hope it works yes it is gonna work come on man oh i forgot wait um it needs to be um what you called speed equals to zero and then this one is not big enough so oh yeah and there is edges along the thing so let me just grab our tools kit <laughs> put in here in here there there we go um in case you didn't heard of this game it's called chill shocker it's pretty fun you should try it out okay now let's just set our size to normal so set size apply to one animation okay that's good okay everything's pretty good okay now let's try it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, okay. So first let's put our thing there. Down here. Down there. Hmm, I, I don't want to I'll just put that there. Put that there. Put that down there. Um, put that in the middle. Here we are. There. Change. Wait, what? It doesn't change. Wait. Let's just F11 back. Um, uh, let's just check why it doesn't change. I think I know why, guys. Effects? Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. ID. ID. Who said you to do ID? Oh, my gosh, guys. Go back here. System from very variable. Num correct equals greater than nine. Okay, who told you to do ID? I can solve this one without you even looking at the code. Hi. Okay, let's try it again. So let's put that there, that there. Here we are. Here we are. Another one over here. There we are. Here we are. Here we are. And done. Yes, another one. Okay. Um, this thing is there. Okay, this is pretty hard. There. Um, where does this go? There, <laughs> there, oh, where is it, down there, down there, down there, there, and there, there you go, diamonds, 
Oh my gosh, this this is a diamond. Diamond. There you go. I'm pretty good at this. There you go. There you go. This is actually pretty easy. Okay, where does this little block go? Here. <laughs> okay, this and that. Um, wait. Okay, and this little block goes there. Ding. Okay. Those are diamond nuggets. <laughs> put this in the middle. Put this. Wait, where? Wait, where do you put this thing? Here, okay? Here. Up here. Here. And there. Um, where is it? Uh, where is it? Here? Yes. And then, where is this? Here. And this. Here. Boop. Yes. Okay, and we go back here. And yes. Okay, guys, so that was our hardest game I ever built in my life, which was um, basically a puzzle game. And I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, okay. On opposite days. Okay, so thank you for um, um, watching. I hope you enjoyed that was one hour, by the way, so that was pretty tough. Okay, so thank you for listening. Oh, no, I'm listening. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. See ya.